What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install GBA for iOS on your device. Now you don't have to be jailbroken in order to do this, which is really awesome. And if you don't know what GBA for iOS is, it's basically a Game Boy emulator that a lot of people know and love. It's been around for a while, but sometimes it's hard to actually get on your device. And this process is very simple and very straightforward. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Now keep in mind, this is going to work for sure on 9.3 and above. So I'm actually showing you this on an iOS 10 device right here. So we know that it works on 9.3 and above. I haven't been able to test it below 9.3. So if you guys are on like 9.2.1 and you wanna give this a shot, let me know if it works in the comments below just so we can kind of get an idea of all the iOS firmwares that this works on. I just don't have a device right now that I can test that on. But let's go ahead and test this out for ourselves. So the process is actually really simple. What you wanna do here is go ahead and open up Safari and you're gonna go wanna go to this website right here, which I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. But basically all you wanna do is tap on the install app button and then what you wanna do is change your date in your device to any date within 2014. So when we tap on install app, we should get a little pop-up that asks us if we want to install GBA for iOS. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and tap on install, and then you'll see that start to load. Then we wanna go into our date and time, toggle off, set automatically, and then scroll through here until we can get to 2014. So we'll just scroll a few more times. And then once you're in 2014, tap on general, make sure that it did lock in right there. So we're still at 2014. So when we swipe over here, you'll still see that GBA for iOS is right here. You'll see it's still grayed out. So what we wanna do is get into wiggle mode and delete that app. So we'll delete the app and then swipe back over, open up Safari, and we tap on the application again. Should ask us if we wanna install it, if we swipe over here. But go ahead and give it like 10 seconds or so, or however long it's gonna to take to download and install that. And then it should go ahead and install. But you'll notice if we tap on the application, that it says untrusted enterprise developer. So it's actually not going to let us open it up. So what we wanna do is go into our settings. We're gonna go back here. First of all, we wanna change our date back. So let's go ahead and change our date. So we'll just tap on set automatically. And then we wanna go back here into uh, general and then scroll down here to profile. So if we tap on that, you'll see a Beijing HL 95, all that good stuff. So if we tap on that, then what you wanna do is just tap on trust. So this is going to allow us to trust this profile right here, which will allow us to open up the application as you can see right there. So at this point, all you have to do is actually just load in your ROMs and you'll be able to play those games on your device. Just again to show you guys how easy this is, if we go ahead and tap on Safari, tap on install app, it'll load, give us a little pop up here. We'll want to tap on install and then we're going to go back over here into settings, general, date and time, toggle offset automatically, go into, this is okay, if you get this pop-up, unable to download app, just tap done, and then we're gonna scroll down here until we get to 2014. There's 2015. And there's 2014, tap on general, to make sure you lock in that date, which we have. And now you can see, we swipe over here. Let's go ahead and delete this. Swipe back over to Safari. Tap on this once again, and we should get a little pop-up that says, do we wanna install it? We'll tap install, and then go back here to the home screen and let it install. Again, there's the application but we can't open it yet, so we wanna go into our settings again, set automatically our date, and then scroll down here to profiles, which we have the Beijing, so we'll tap on that, we'll tap trust, and this is actually working on iOS 9.3. So now, swipe over here, and we can open up the GBA for iOS application. So it's really as simple as that. And if you guys aren't familiar with GBA for iOS, then what you want to do, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys as well to open this up, but this is basically where you can download a ton of ROMs to play in your GBA for iOS app. So right up here at the top, we'll just tap on ROMs, ISOs, and games, I think it said. Yeah, and games. So now when we scroll through here, you can see there's a ton 
of different things you can download. So we're gonna use, we're gonna go to uh, Game Boy, the Nintendo Game Boy Advanced ROMs. Tap on that, and then you'll see a ton of these different games. So for instance, if we wanted to download, let's just say Pokemon Fire Red, we'll tap on that, and then we'll get rid of this ad, and then we'll tap on download links. So here is the download link, and then right up here at the top, you'll see download Pokemon Fire Red, uh, and it's 5.1 megs. So we tap on that, and then scroll down a bit, and then you'll see you'll need to scroll down to get your download link right there. So we'll tap on that, it's downloaded, and then we wanna tap on more, and then we wanna swipe over here to copy to GBA for iOS. We tap on that, it should put the game in there, so now when we tap on the game, it should play the entire game right there for us on our device. Again, I'll put all relevant links in the description below for you guys. Let me know if you have any trouble whatsoever getting this installed by leaving a comment in the comments below. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, Make sure you smack that like button. And if you guys want to stay up to date with everything tech and everything iPhone, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.